So let's just uh, make some minor um, modification. You can see it's the set. So what you're gonna need is a AV verse node, and it's right here in the utili utilities. So I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna middle mouse drag it over to multiply the Y node. And um, I already forgot <laughs> what the rotation it is. It's set. So let's take set and pump it into set, of course. And that should not do it yet because we still need to. Um, what's it called? Um, I have to think. Come on. Oh. I lost it, I think. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, we have to find the right rotation for Z. Um, and as far as I remember, it was X on these. So let's break the connection. And let's just check if it's the right one. And it is. So that was the first joint. And the second joint, I'm gonna uh, break the connection as well. And then I'm gonna input this into these joints. So we got the number uh, reversed. The set from the reverse node is gonna go into the rotation X. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other joint. So I really hope this is uh, getting more clear. Let's see if it works. And it works. That's just cool. So uh, that was the first joint. Uh, now we have to do the same thing for all the other joints. And the controllers. So this is a bit... Uh, I wouldn't say tricky, but... Um, hard work, I guess you can say. Um, I'm gonna select the... Uh, the objects we're gonna need, the controller and the three joints. And then I'm gonna press this icon. Icon. I'm gonna take it down. And I know now that we need a multiply the Y node and we need a reverse node. So this multiply the Y node is gonna be a bit different, but I'm gonna tell you how and why. You're gonna take this bind and we're gonna go to middle mouse button button it down. <laughs> Middle mouse button it down to the multiply the Y node, and um, you're gonna find the rotation. There it is the X into the input X, the Y into the Y, and the Z into the Z. And then in the multiply the Y node, you got um, if you open your attribute editor, you can see the input 2 is 1. In the last one, we wanted it one uh, 0 0.5, but in this one, we want the zoom point uh, 33 because it's a third. We got three joints now, so it should be divided a third. So I'm gonna point zero three three zero point three three and so on. Oops, my mistake. And then we're actually ready for the next set of joints. Um, so the rotation of the C is going to go down to the reverse node. So I'm just gonna middle mouse drag the multiply the Y node onto the reverse node. I'm gonna click others. The output C is gonna go to the input C. So that's it. Um, and now of course I forgot the rotation order. So this is Z. Oh sorry X. And this is Z. So you're gonna want to put this into middle mouse drag the multiply the minor over to the joint, and it doesn't matter which order you do it with the joints. Um, I, I just started with number three, <coughs> and you're gonna take the output and you're gonna say it X, and you're gonna put it in C. I remembered that y was y 
so I'm just gonna put that already and I'm gonna do that for every joint <coughs> oops sorry I have to select the multiply divide out middle mouse drag it to the joint and then X should go to C and Y should go to Y and I'm gonna move the mouse button to the last one I know that I'm missing uh, one coordinate but for now we're gonna do that with the reverse node you can see and we're gonna do that now so I'm gonna mouse drag it over to the first one <coughs> and I really hope this is clear this should go to X because we found out that earlier select other C is going to X and it might be different in your uh, scene all this because my is not acting the same way every time so your rotation order might be a lot different but you can always check it out that you want one rotation in one order oops I can see something happened this is never good you can see that the rotation is uh, it rotated the skeleton a bit and it might be that we got some uh, some rotation on one of the joints we will have to check that but other than that it seems to be working okay so I think I just have to uh, redo the whole thing because we can't have uh, the joints should be uh, we can't have any uh, weird stuff going on hmm. okay so now it doesn't got any does this how is the joints Mm, so you can see the joints are not entirely centered anymore I think it might be uh, the first joint it's uh, a bit weird that uh, why does these have one mm this might be the case so I'm guessing it has something to do with uh, the reverse node and uh, let's uh, look at it um, so I'm just gonna select this one and open it and you can see we get all these uh, nodes and this is zero so it's a bit uh, weird but it gets a one. Hmm. I don't know. That's uh, that's weird. What happens if I rotate it? Well, I did this before and it worked. So it's uh, it's annoying. But uh, let's try to. Oh, actually, I got another way we can do this. But let's try it first to break the connection of these. And set it to zero. And zero. So now you can see it's centered again and the workaround we can do is I'm gonna delete the reverse node and um, let's just find out it was the C so the C is going to be divided by 0 0.5 minus instead and let's see if this works so let's uh, select the multiply divide node we'll mouse drag it to the first joint and we want the output C to go into the rotation X as before 
and we're gonna middle mouse drag it to the other joint and we're gonna select C to rotate X and let's see what happens that didn't work okay so yeah <laughs> that's that's great but now this doesn't work so let's set up the <laughs> this joint again at this controller we select the controller we select the joints and we open it in hypershade we make uh, multiply the line out where is it well these are the things that happens when you're rigging and uh, luckily it was uh, easy to fix but sometimes you will be faced with problems that are not easy to fix and you will be struggling a lot that is why people hate rigging um, but it's not that bad you know it's actually kind of cool when you got a problem and then you got the ability to solve it and when you solve it it's really nice you feel like a king and you feel awesome so I just uh, put uh, the values from the controller into the multiply the out. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm gonna set the multiply uh, input to zero 0.33 because we want it to be divided into thirds. And um, the last input is going to be set and we want set to be reversed so I'm gonna put a minus and then we're gonna to uh, we're going to put this multiply the line out into all the joints again so middle mouse drag it down to the first joint I'm gonna select select the input X and this X is I, I remember it it's uh, set and the Y is the Y and the Z is the X I'm gonna do it for every joint So I'm having my finger crossed. Oops, that was wrong. I'm having my finger crossed that I'm doing this right. I need to be f focused. I can see, otherwise I'm gonna mess it up. It's like kind of exciting if I'm doing it right. <laughs> so okay, and now we're gonna look into it. I hope everybody is voting for me. <laughs> Let's try. Oh yes, it works. Ah, that was a good thing that I'm not gonna embarrass myself too much in this uh, tutorial. Okay.